I'm Richard Stevenson. I'm the Chief Executive of Unimedia. Media. Today I'm going to talk about the release we're doing in September for the iPad and iPhone edition. So let's first of all look at the user features. And this is an American magazine, which we do, Runway Magazine. And this is an improvement to the navigation. So you'll notice that I can just swipe upwards and reveal a series of thumbnails along the bottom. And I've got a scroll bar here, which enables me to go fast through the items. I can then move to any particular part on there and then click on a particular item and then it will come up. That helps very much in terms of the speed and the ease of navigation and enhances the, the contents navigation we had beforehand. The other change will be on video. Uh, one of the issues about um, including rich media like video into the publications is the download size. But if you do have it embedded, it's actually a much better way of watching the videos because they fire immediately and you don't have to have uh, a connection to actually watch them. So what we've done is made it the user choice and when you would click to download an edition it will ask you whether you want the embedded video or the light version with the streaming video. That means you can only see video when you're online. But we've made a further enhancement so that if you have chosen the streaming video and you see a video you particularly like there's a keep button to enable you to keep that video is embedded and read it offline. So those are most of the changes, plus we've redone the reader to make it a little bit quicker, but most of the viewers will see those changes. As far as the publisher is concerned, we have some other changes. For example, where you put video on the page sometimes can confuse your main message, so we've produced triggers. Now triggers allow you to put a trigger like this one here which says play video but it can be a logo or some other image as you press it the actual um, video plays and pops up so that video then can play in that position as before or in fact you can actually open it to be full screen so if I wish to actually move that to full screen I can move it into full screen tap it again I can go back down, play controls and I can stop it. But then I can also hide it again. So this particular method enables us to hide the video and make the original design of the page be intact. Let me talk about some of the other features. Uh, email collection, for example. We ask the user wish, whether they wish to put in some of their details, data collection, if they wish to communicate, say, in this particular case with, with Runway Magazine. That's an optional issue if they wish to do so, but it enables that to collect and we store that information for the publishers and the publishers get access to that. The other main point of this particular release is, is subscriptions. Now subscriptions have always been the difficult part of this game and if I, for example, um, look at this original screen here, you'll notice on the top right hand side I've got a screen which says log in, log out. Now, that enables me to open an account. Now, here is an opportunity to subscribe to the magazine, and it will then give me the option, in this case, of a price for one year or nine months. And this screen here itself can be completely branded in whichever way the publisher wishes to happen. So now you can see we can subscribe. Once that has been subscribed to, we can then deliver via the account control system, we can deliver the permissions and I'll go back to the previous screen, and then you can immediately download and read whatever's in that subscription. So from when someone opens a subscription, they normally will get the current magazine, and then they'll get whatever you wish to put in that subscription package until their subscription expires. Now, you also have the option, which is very um, special to you do, of the publisher being able to allow people to have access to that subscription through email address and password. So you can add those email addresses and passwords to our subscription management system, which will enable people to read off the iPad. Now you can see why this would work with bundling the, um, the print package, for example. So someone may be subscribing to the print version of Print Runway Magazine, and you wish to give them access to this one. This you can do using Udo. So that's a very important point. You can now upload those email addresses and passwords that you have on your system 
into our DRM system, that's Digital Rights Management System, and that can be done by an API, which can be done automatically, or done by uploading through a CSV file. So subscriptions are important, and finally, going alongside that is push notifications. Now, push notifications work, and you can probably see it if you look at these little um, red buttons on the, on the screen here. This tells you that there's something new in that particular app. And uh, what our system will work is that that will all happen with every single publication that ends up in the app. However, for a subscription, you'll also get a pop-up notice to say your, your latest version of, in this case, Runway Magazine is now available. So there's lots of interesting changes. Subscription is definitely a very important development. Um, and for, the, for now, we'll leave it there. But what I'd like to say is that we are intending to make further releases. Certainly in November, there's a major release coming up with lots of very interesting features. So keep looking out for the videos that I'm going to be putting out and talking about that release. Thanks for watching.